Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us talk about zeros of linear polynomial. See linear polynomial I have told you I can write a general form as ax plus b. Here a is not equal to 0. To find a linear polynomial uh, zeros, let's suppose p c, c is the zero of the polynomial then a c plus b will be equal to 0 so c will be equal to minus b by a so this is the zeros of the linear polynomial and please note this is the only one zero right so linear polyno polynomial will have only one zeros for example, if you take px is equal to x minus 5. So if you see p5 is the only, uh, 5 is the only 0 for this polynomial. If you take px is equal to x plus 2, p of minus 2 is the only 0 for this polynomial. Right? So, a linear polynomial will have only one zero. Let's see one example where to verify where 2 and 0 are, are 0 for this polynomial. See, this is not a linear polynomial. The highest power is 2, so quadratic polynomial. For linear polynomial, the maximum number of 0 is 1. For quadratic, the maximum number of 0 is 2. And let's see if 2 and 0 are zeros for this polynomial. So let's put 0, 0 square minus 2 into 0 and that is 0 minus 0 that is 0. So 0 is the 0 for this polynomial. Let's talk about 2. So let's find the value of p2. So x becomes 2, 2 square minus 2x that is 2 into 2 that is 4 minus 4 that is 0. So both 0 and 2 are 0 for this polynomial. Please note linear polynomial will have only one zero. Quadratic can have at the max two zero and cubic can have at the max three zeros. So we observe that the zero of the polynomial need not be zero. Zero of the polynomial can be four, five, six, for example, x minus five. The zero of this polynomial is five. We also observe that 0 may be a 0 of the polynomial for example x square minus 2x for this p0 is also 0 so 0 may and may not be 0 of the polynomial every linear polynomial has one and only one zero a polynomial can have more than one zero so this polynomial i'm talking about is quadratic and cubic polynomial Let's take a few more numericals. We have to find the value of polynomial this at x is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 2. Pretty easy, right? So if my px is given, that is 5x minus 4x square plus 3, I have to find p0 to just replace x with 0. Right? So this is 0, this is 0, you get 3. To replace x with minus 1, so let's put p of minus 1. 5 into x become 5 into minus 1. Minus 4x square is minus 1 square plus 3. That is nothing but minus 5 minus 4 plus 3. Minus 9 plus 3, that is minus 6. Let's find x equal to 2. p of 2. 5x becomes 5 into 2. Minus 4x square becomes 4 into 2 square plus 3. You solve this, 5 into 2 is 10, 2 square is 4, 4 into 4 is 16, plus 3. That is 13 minus 16, and that is nothing but minus 3. And that is the answer. Okay. So we have to find P0, P1, P2 for each of these. Let's do for 1. For this, let me find P0. I'll put all y as 0, 0 square minus 0 plus 1, and that is 1. To find p1, let's put all y as 1, 1 square minus 1 plus 1, that is 1. Let me find p2, 
all y is 2 2 square minus 2 plus 1 that is 4 minus 2 plus 1 that is 5 minus 2 that is 3 so this is all for this equation similarly you can do for all this remaining 3 I'll not do it's pretty easy just you have to put the values for example here all t is 0 then all t is 1 then all t is so we have to check whether the following are the zeros for this polynomial. For example, we have to check whether minus 1 by 3 is, is 0 for this polynomial 3x plus 1. So let's do that. It will be replace minus uh, replace x with minus 1 by 3. So 3x becomes 3 into minus 1 by 3 plus 1. That is minus 1 plus 1. That is 0. The next one, px is equal to x square minus 1 for 1 and minus 1 so let's find for p1 is 1 square minus 1 that is 0 correct let's find for minus 1 that is x square is minus 1 square minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0 so yes for both of these actually these numbers are 0 for these polynomials let's check this p x square and x equal to 0 so p of 0 is what 0 square and that is 0 that means for this also it is true let's check this so p of minus 1 by root 3 for this equation will be 3 into x square that is minus 1 by root 3 minus 1 that is 3 into 1 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0. Let's take the value of p 2 by root 3 that becomes 3 into x square that is 2 by 3 square minus 1 this becomes 3 into 4 by 3 minus 1 that is 4 minus 3 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 so for this it is true but for this no okay let's take few more numericals we have to find the zeros for polynomials in each of these case first is px is equal to x plus 5 so we have to find some pc where this is equal to 0 so put x with c c plus 5 is equal to 0 c is equal to minus 5 so for first polynomial my zeros is minus 5. Let's take this one. Similar, px is equal to x minus 5. So we have to find a pc where pc is equal to 0. Replace x with c, c minus 5 is equal to 0, or c is equal to 5. This is also a 0 for this polynomial. Let's try sixth one. ax a is not equal to 0. So this will be p of 0 is 0, p of 0 is a into 0. So 0 is a 0 for this polynomial. Similarly, you can do rest of the questions. Let me try this one. px is equal to cx plus d. So let's, let's have a p. I can use a different term because c is already there. I'll use p i. So c i plus d i is equal to d by c minus d by c and this is 0 right so for minus d by c is the 0 for this point okay thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.